real quick, I just wanted to thank all of you who donated in the last couple weeks. I really appreciate it. If you would like to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or donating on PayPal. I also accept cryptocurrency. You can find my public addresses in the description or in the pinned comment. Thank you. During an interview on CBS Thursday, Attorney General Barr roasted the media for their utter disinterest in covering what's looking more and more like an unlawful spying operation of a political campaign. Clearly, the media's only real interest is working in concert with Democrats to undo a Democratic election. Their interest in investigations is solely dependent on if it helps the Democrat Party or not. They've rationalized getting rid of Trump by any means necessary, and if Barr's gonna reveal any corruption in in this process, they'll do their best to cover it up and destroy Barr. Barr called out the media saying, well, the media reaction is strange. Normally the media would be interested in letting the sunshine in and finding out what the truth is. And usually the media doesn't care that much at all about protecting intelligence sources and methods, but I do and I will. The fact that today people just seem to brush aside the idea that it's okay to, you know, engage in these activities against a political campaign is stunning to me, especially when the media doesn't seem to think that it's worth looking into. They're supposed to be the watchdogs of, you know, our civil liberties. Exactly. The media is supposed to be the fourth estate, holding government to account. Unfortunately though, the media has become a political tool of the DNC and the left, so they're only interested in destroying their political opposition at this point. If that means lying, using deceptively edited footage, inciting violence, or corrupting our institutions, they'll rationalize all of it. And Barr is right, the media has never showed any concern with revealing sources and methods in the past. But now they feign concern because they're trying to cover up unlawful surveillance of Trump's campaign. All of these leaks over the last two years have been to left-wing media sources and were meant to undermine Trump. You've testified that you believe spying occurred yes. into the Trump campaign. Yes. Um, you've gotten some criticism for using that word. You're at the end of your career? Or? Uh, I'm at the end of my career. I've, you know... I, Does it, but, I mean, it's a reputation that you've worked your whole life on, though. Talk about obstruction. This so-called reporter seems more interested in convincing Barr not to continue the investigation than investigating the story herself. In any other instance, a journalist would jump at the chance to investigate the possibility that our intelligence agencies unlawfully targeted a political campaign. It's a huge story, but you gotta consider that in this case, the media's narrative for the last two years is being challenged. All of those intelligence officials that the media has cozied up to in the last couple years are potentially in some very hot water. It certainly wouldn't be the first time that the media promoted and adored a scumbag criminal. Well, in a way, I did expect it. You because did. Yeah, because I realized we live in a, a crazy, hyper-partisan period of time, and I knew that uh, it would only be a matter of time if, you, if I was behaving responsibly and calling him as I see him, uh, that I'd be attacked because nowadays people don't care about the merits or the substance. They only care about who it helps. I think one of the ironies today is that people are saying that it's President Trump that's shredding our institutions. I really see no evidence of that. From my perspective, the idea of resisting a democratically elected president and basically throwing everything at him and, and you know, uh, really changing the norms on the grounds that we have to stop this president. That's where the shredding of our, of our norms and our institutions is occurring. Barr nails it here. In the United States, we're basically engaged in a cold civil war. The fact that our media is largely dominated by one political party is driving this political hate and division that's spreading like cancer. That's why James Comey can go from being the most hated man in the media when he's investigating Hillary to being the most loved and heroic when he begins speaking out against Trump. That's why Democrats love the idea of firing Comey for investigating Hillary, but call it obstruction when Trump fires Comey. Who was it that said questioning election results in 2016 would amount to an attack on democracy? Hillary Clinton said it, and the media dutifully repeated it. Yet, who is it that has challenged election results since day one? If anyone is assisting Putin in dividing this country and destroying democratic norms, it's the left and their media. So when I went in and I have not gotten answers that are at all satisfactory and, and in fact have probably more questions, and that some of the facts uh, that, that I've learned uh, don't hang together with the official explanations. Things are just not jiving. I think Gerardo Riviera said it best yesterday on Fox News when he said, quote, if I were James Comey right now, or James Clapper right now, or John Brennan right now, I would be quaking in my boots. 
It sounds like AG Barr is already skeptical about the answers he's getting, and I'm not the least bit surprised. There's more than enough information in the public already that suggests some shady shit went down after election night. If you're interested in hearing some discussion about that public information, you should check out some of my past live streams with Robert Noir. Clearly, there were some hyper-partisans in the FBI and the CIA who hated Trump and wanted to do something about his victory. Hopefully Barr won't let us down and at the very least gives us a thorough investigation with some solid answers on what really happened. One thing is for sure, Barr will have a target on his back and will no doubt be under constant attack by our DNC media. That's all I got for you today folks. Make sure to check out my live stream every Saturday night at 7pm Eastern. Thank you. Um,